As a company, we pride ourselves on being architectural storytellers. We're industry leaders in creating all types of visualisation, as well as all aspects of architectural or property marketing. Archelime is based in South Devon, and our studio is set on the banks of the River Dart. It really is an incredible place to come and be creative, and it's the main hub of where we produce the work for our clients that come to us from all over the world. Our team of in-house graphic designers and artists create anything from branding and brochures to architectural visualisations, which is where V-Ray comes in. So we've spent the best part of a decade mastering V-Ray for SketchUp. So when Elm Tech and Chaos Group approached us and asked us to undergo this beta testing for the new version, it really was a no-brainer. So there are some really, really amazing features in this new V-Ray 5 for SketchUp beta software. And these are the type of things that we've really enjoyed bringing into our workflow. The feature that really caught my eye was the light mix. The light mix was present in V-Ray for 3DS Max, and this is its first time it's featuring in V-Ray for SketchUp. And it's something we've really, really been waiting for. It allows us to then render out a final image and then dynamically tweak and change the lighting so that if a client could come to us and say, we'd like a nighttime version of this particular shot, we change a few settings and then hey presto, we've then got a completely different lighting setup without having the need to then re-render, which could take hours at a time. It's one of those processes which is gonna make a huge difference to our workflow and really boost the quality and also the quantity of work that we can produce. Besides the light mix, another feature we really, really enjoyed testing was the light gen which enables the user to, with one click, automatically generate renders of different times of the day, which then naturally means that the clients have more lighting setups to then choose from. Previously, if a client would come to us and ask us to explore different lighting conditions for their visualizations, what we would have to do is then manually reset the lighting setup for each individual iteration. So the light gen is a real time-saving tool. Another feature which we were really looking forward to trying was V-Ray Vision. What this does is it will take your V-Ray scene and bring it into a photorealistic, interactive 3D environment. This is great for client meetings as it allows them to make decisions and make adjustments to the V-Ray scene in ways that weren't before possible. Chaos Group have revamped the displacement system within V-Ray 5 for SketchUp. Nowadays, it lives within the geometry section of the asset editor. Now, what does this mean? It enables V-Ray to process displacement in a much more stable way, which allows the user to be integrating displacement into their projects in ways that they didn't feel comfortable doing before. So one of the interface overhauls that V-Ray 5 has undergone is the introduction of a new sun and sky model you now have the ability to manually position the sun at different times of day and different times of year in ways which were previously impossible to recreate. The potential of this means it's much more user-friendly. And now when you're interactive rendering or using V-Ray Vision, it means that you can intuitively adjust the sun position to create the perfectly lit CGI. So like the asset editor, the V-Ray frame buffer has also had an update. This frame buffer now facilitates a much faster and more efficient way to make edits to your work after they've been rendered out. Now, all of the lens effects, color corrections, uh, light mix functions, they all reside within one place, which is the new V-Ray frame buffer. We've been really lucky to work on some prestigious projects with some amazing clients. They demand the best, and V-Ray is the tool that will enable us to do this and continue to do this using the new features of V-Ray 5 for SketchUp.